是沙白。今天要拍的影片风格跟之前不太一样。我常常被很多人问说：“哎，你在台湾生活这么久了，会不会想念美国？因为国外的生活不是比较好吗？那你为什么会想要待在台湾这么长的时间？”那其实我有时候会有一点不知道怎么回答，因为我觉得。台湾其实是一个很棒的地方，所以我今天要跟我家人一起坐下来讨论一下，我们为什么会这么喜欢台湾，然后我们回来了美国，我们会想念的是什么事情？下礼拜的影片会是这个影片的第二段，第二段会跟着家人一起讨论我们在台湾这么久的时间没有办法习惯的事情。那我们就要开始吧，去找我家人喽。<laughs> okay, so the first topic, the thing that we're going to talk about today is what are the things that you really love about Taiwan that you didn't expect before you got there, and then once you got there, you were just like, wow, this is incredible. So the first thing we're going to talk about is the food. Okay. Yum. Coming from America, what is something that we normally ate all the time as kids, like sandwiches? What we usually ate burgers. like steak, steak mashed potatoes, steak. and like some kind of vegetable. Yeah, and like a salad. There was always mm -hmm. like a salad on the table, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so once we got to Taiwan, how did that change? What did we start doing? For our first example, mom never just stopped cooking. I know, because it's so convenient, right? Like, exactly. I mean, we don't need to eat at home. So like, mom just didn't have to cook anymore. Yeah. Um, I don't remember. I don't remember <laughs> that. <laughs> I think what it was is that we still ate at home a lot of the time until the two of us moved out. And that's why you don't remember cooking because when we moved out, we went out every single meal. We did breakfast shops every single morning. Oh, that was a it good was time like, though. It was like our Saturday morning like ritual yeah. is to go to a breakfast shop with our friends. Mm -hmm. right? you, know, you know what my favorite thing to do about food was? Mm -hmm. I used to like to take my scooter, uh, I'd go to this g pie place, I go to this Swage and Bao place. I do like these little food adventures where I hit right. all of the carts on the street. Right. That was my favorite thing. I loved going to the I place. genuinely just miss, because I stay up all the time, right? Yeah, you like, stay up late. Well, like, I just don't like waking up early, but I love staying up late. Like, video games, I don't know. Now my work schedule like keeps mm -hmm. me up late. My schedule is 9 p.m. to 7 a.m. I can't tell you how many times I've thought back and just been like, if I could just <laughs> yeah. get like some, you know, Beef tea pie or nyoro mian, yeah. something, because there are no food places that are open that late here. Everything yeah. closes at 10. The only thing that's open is Whataburger and like barf, you know? What is barf? Like, like, like so the other thing that's irritating about what everyone was saying is like you go to a chicken place. And they'll sit at 8 o'clock, they close at 9, you go there at 8, and they go, well, I'll have any chicken. Yeah. Yeah. In Taiwan, they will always make it but, fresh. But, for but, you. Yeah. in Taiwan, they will make it fresh for you and they'll be happy about it. Yeah. And they'll do it with love. Yeah. Here, if you if they already shut down the kitchen at 8 p.m., you don't. You don't. This is what they say, and it's like a warning, right? This is what they say. They'll be like, we only take cash. And we're like, okay, we got cash. Can we get X, Y, and Z? He's like, okay, but I'd have to make it fresh. And well, you just know he's they planning only, to spit in your food. Yeah, here they only, a lot of people use cards, right? But in Taiwan, everything is cash. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. But like in Taiwan, they'll shut it down and they'll be like, oh, let me do it for you real quick, real quick. Yeah. Here it's like, Okay, well, some places did but I have down. to make it fresh, and you're like, ooh, what are you gonna do? Yeah, yeah. What are you gonna make it fresh? Put <laughs> your hand to it. Yeah. The first thing is scooters and carts. Like I know for you, you really loved to ride your cart and your motorcycle. Where did you go? What did you do? Well, I, I was lucky because the Danan Suchan was right down the street. Yeah. And so I could go. I would go there. At night, they would have food vendors, like a little night market there. I would go there. Uh, other times, you know, I'd, I'd go to the tea place. Mm -hmm. I had a route that was about probably four or five miles. Wow. Where I would go through this rice field and down this road and over to this other little creek and then back over across the street down along the creek to another big field up and down and over the hills to grab this You forgot to mention that you'd go also this way, that way. Well, I, I, I had to go this way. <laughs> but did you go that way too? Yeah, I went all the way. How about that way? 
Okay, so the three of us spent more times on carts and scooters, and we loved it. Yeah. And we loved that convenience. Did you prefer driving your car or driving your scooter? I would take the scooter because I had those two sides. You had the things, the disability and I wheels. Could, yeah, uh -huh. and so I would put all my groceries and tie it. <laughs> and I put all my groceries and tie it on the thing, and so I could go through the whole market, get everything I need for the week, and then come back home. I, I put yeah. a picture on Facebook one time with all this stuff piled up behind me on the bike, and I said, "Look, I got a new pickup truck." <laughs> so embarrassing. <laughs> No, but for me, riding scooters is one of the, like, my all-time favorite things yeah, about Thailand. I like the air on your face. Yes, the air. I mean, even though the air quality is not that good sometimes, but, like, just the air in your hair. And my favorite thing is seeing all the cars lined up for miles. And I'm just, just like, like vroom, 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 vroom. <laughs> Like passing them. And then not only that, you could go to, like, the beach. You could go to the mountains. You could go to the shopping Going centers. to the beach on scooters was probably, like, one of the most fun things ever. Yeah. Because you're, like, your hair is all sandy and wet, and you, like, and you're just driving your scooter, and you're, Along like, the coastline yeah, or something. It's, it's so gorgeous. Beautiful. Yeah. I would bring a scooter here, like, Yamaha. Sponsor me. Yeah, but it's different here. It's, it's way no, more dangerous. No, go, go, row. Go, go, you know what's you know that makes, was like my dream scooter, sorry. You know what makes it, it's more dangerous for you. Number one, you're not used to scooters being right. on the road. You can't go driving past them. You have to follow all of the regular laws. Yeah. So you have to ride like a car in the... Yeah, in, it wouldn't be convenient. It wouldn't be, it's not, it wouldn't be good. And I will say this, right? Like, even though that Taiwan, you do get in some accidents. Like, how many have you had? <laughs> <laughs> But the thing about like Taiwanese traffic is that you do get in some accidents, right? right. Like people like, bump each other. All they the bump time. each other all the time, but it's so minor. Like compared yeah. to the the accidents here, people will survive it a lot more than if they get in an accident here because you have people that just drive down the road at 60 miles an yeah. hour when the speed limit's 40, and they have no concern or regard. Like even pedestrians that are walking across the street get hit all the time because people are just going so fast. But yeah. in Taiwan, they are more concerned about like driving safely and getting there safely like even if you do get in a small accident everyone's fine and vehicles are for the most part okay it's usually just like a fender bender. yeah it's like yeah. a little a few scratches or like a small dent on your car i mean yeah granted there are some major ones but like for the most part like they're pretty safe yeah but the thing about that is you get in a little minor accident it's pay money yeah. pay money y'all well the thing <laughs> is is since i've been here it's been like a month right mm -hmm. From the time that we've got here, I've seen two big accidents. They're always and big accidents. It's, it's literally like the car is completely destroyed. Mm -hmm. Like the whole car is just ruined. You cannot drive it. The time that we've been living, that we lived in Taiwan, or that we are living in Taiwan, I have never seen an accident of that magnitude. Yeah. Well, but see, you gotta understand, in Taiwan, you're talking 50 kilometers an hour on all city streets, which is about 30 miles an hour. Here you got cars going 45, 55 miles an hour inside the city. If they were going 45, I'd be fine with it. You have people going 60, 70 miles yeah. down the road. Once it passes nine o'clock, people are just, oh, people don't care about other people. Well, but I was, I was talking. <laughs> so now my next question is, what are some of the things that you personally really loved about Taiwan? Like, what are the, some of the things that you're just like, I wish this was in America? You want to start? Okay. Um, I like how the trash trucks came every day. Yeah. And they sang to you. And they sang. Do you remember the first time? Oh, so yeah. it was the first night we were in Taiwan. We heard the singing. Follow for my singing career. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but so at Emily and Emily Murray on Instagram. <laughs> follow me. No. Uh, so we like we. We get all excited. We're like, yes, okay, we're in a foreign country, but the music, that's something we know. Like, yeah. an ice cream truck is coming around. <laughs> and so we, we run. go running downstairs and we're like, dad, 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 can we get some money? And he's like, why? And we're like, the ice cream man's coming. Like, come on, dad, come on. And he was like, should I let him go outside? Or he's like, what so I have go, bad news yeah. for you guys. So we go running outside. <laughs> truck rolls by and we're like why does it it smell like that's not an ice cream truck yeah. we got so disappointed <laughs> yeah. you were laughing up you were laughing so the first house we lived in was a tian and we had to take out the trash every day but once we moved into an apartment they had the little trash room do you, do you, you know how many uh, lights a trash truck has eight nine i was nine. 
You know, like we lived in an apartment where they had the words in Chinese, but then they they put up pictures because they knew we lived there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was so could, sweet. So we could figure out what what, what, what recycle goes in what can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And then also they did the, the food scraps and oh, they would yeah. turn them into either compost or pig food. Yeah, yeah. That was really cool too. That was really good. Yeah, because you're so not they wasting. Just, they didn't want you putting tea leaves in there. Yeah. <laughs> the pigs are like, woo! -hoo! <laughs> Hold we on, you're nice to do like a close-up on that. Woo! Woo! Okay, well, what was one of your favorites? Yeah, I was just gonna say, I think one of my favorite things was like the safety. Yeah. I remember me and you, like we were 13 years old, we could be out as late as we wanted and we weren't scared. Yeah. Like yeah. we didn't have anything to worry about. I think in the duration of the 11, 12 years that we were there, I think there was like there was like one major story about in Taipei about like some guy taking a knife out on the on the train or something yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like that's once in twelve years. Yeah. Well, there you know are, what I mean? Like yeah. there are incidences that happen there, but for the most part, everybody it everybody is generally genuinely like good people. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Like everybody will see you struggling with something, something. Nice. Stop what they're, they're doing and try to help yeah. you. Like. Yeah. Like when we would go to like the immigration place because we had to like fill out our paperwork once a year, like those ladies would, it might be at 12 o'clock or whatever because yeah. we have to drive there from Taipei. They would Sit use their lunch, lunch break yeah. to help you figure your life out. Like yeah. <laughs> they're and that's how people in Taiwan are. They're just good people, like at their core. Like yeah. they care about other people. They help other people, and. It's just such a safe place to live. Yeah. Like you just feel comfort. There. You know what was weird though is, like in our apartment, you had the security guards. Yeah. You had the card system to get into the garage. Yeah, one two. You had the, the card to go up the elevator, and then you had all these locks on the door. It was yeah. like, well, what is all this security for? Nobody, nobody. Nobody's gonna steal. Nobody it. needs this. Yeah. <laughs> you Except, can leave your front door unlocked. Nobody walks in. I, when we would walk our dogs, so we used to walk our dogs in the morning and the afternoon, sometimes, and then at night again. And it was never like an issue of safety. It was never like, oh my gosh, we need to be careful. We need to be home really fast. Like, hurry up, go, 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 go. And like, we would literally relax. sit in the park, be on our phones, pay no attention to what's going on around us. Yeah. Like just making sure our dogs like did their business and, and wait like, till they come back. And we would pick up yeah. their poop, throw it in the trash, and go home. Yeah. Like it was so safe. Like never. Now, ever. like I if I'm outside, trying to do that in America. No, like now if I'm outside, I'm like, oh my god, what is that guy? That guy's weird. Okay, this is weird. All right, we're gonna go walk over here. Like, yeah. I would just never. Yeah, you never yeah. had it. Even if people were drinking in the park. It's not something that you have to worry about them coming up to you, hey, boy, what is it? You know, and Unless they're not they gonna... Being like, hey, you're beautiful. Oi, 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 o
it always came back. Always came back. I remember one time I went to Costco and I had my, I don't think it was my phone, I think it was my iPod, iPod touch. touch. Yeah. And I like set it on the tissue dispenser because it's always so awkward when you go to the bathroom, like if you don't take purses or anything, it's like where do you set your stuff when you like pull your pants down? So I like set, I set the iPod on like the toilet paper dispenser and I like did my business and then I was like, I'm going to wash my hands. And I went to wash my hands and I left and then like we got home and I was like, where's my iPod? Except that was my iPod. <laughs> so we went back to Costco and like I asked the Costco lady, they're like, oh yeah, this lady turned it in. Here you go. Yeah, that would not happen. No, and people would be like, mine. Oh, thank you. Have you ever, have you guys, not, no, 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 no. He needs to, Eric, you need to input a clip of the Finding Nemo. Mine, Birds like going, mine, 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 mine. Yeah, exactly. That'd be funny. That's what it would be like in America. Okay, and mine for me is healthcare. Like, my, my daughter got her hand hurt recently and going to the emergency room, I was so nervous because I was like, it's gonna cost me thousands of dollars because we don't have insurance here. But my thing is like, I've seen friends who didn't have insurance in Taiwan mm -hmm. and going to the hospital, it still only costed them a couple dollars or like a, a little it was, bit. It was a little more than if you had a health card. But yeah, but it wasn't too bad. Like it, it wasn't, wasn't outrageous. Bad. And you know, just for treating a burn, I would think in Taiwan that would be like a couple hundred NT, mm. but here it's like a couple hundred dollars. USD, yeah. yeah, and so for me that was super, super like I love but that there's international. To that point, everyone in Taiwan takes personal responsibility and gets healthcare. Yeah, you have everyone, to. It's the you law. have to. It's the law, and because of that, everyone's paying into healthcare. Yeah, yeah. here. Can't really, I'm not gonna get into politics, can't really say the same. And that's Where in thing. Taiwan, everyone takes personal responsibility and like works together, which is yeah. why healthcare works over there. And that's the thing, right? Like, yeah, healthcare over here, if you don't have insurance, is gonna be a lot more expensive. Mm -hmm. um, but the counter to that is a lot of employers here will give you insurance, and if you have a good job, they give the rest of your family insurance too. Yeah. Like my job, if, if Michael was to work by himself, and I was just a stay-at-home wife, like, our whole family would be covered. Yeah. 谢谢那些已经看到这边的人，我知道这个影片会比较长一点，但是非常感谢你愿意看完。然后最后想要问问大家，因为我知道很多朋友，我身边的台湾朋友都很爱出国去读书，或者去生活，或是 working holiday 都有。那我想问大家，如果你是有去过国外，长期在国外的话，你们会想念什么事情呢？记得哦，这只是第一段，所以如果想要看第二段的话，是在下礼拜五晚上。八点就会上片喽，耶！谢谢，拜拜。I'm gonna say something really bad. <laughs> But I can't say. Warning: This is about to be a controversial statement. <laughs> If you.